Tempo. Hello my Pisces friends, this is Guiding Halo and this is going to be your message for the in-between. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Probably the first week of November. <clears throat> what's going on for my Pisces friends in the in-between? So we have different checkpoints in our life as we're going through something. And that's what these messages are about. The checkpoints and what's happening up in between those checkpoints that are coming your way. The Five of Wands. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and un in understanding manner. This woman is thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. We have the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Thoughtful, warm, caring, and sensible, independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation, my Pisces friends. Then we have the Ten of Cups. So we're starting off here with a big old conflict. Ten of Cups, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So was there some... Some, hmm, let's first find out what's crossing this five of wands, conflict, competing goals, bothersome details. Scorpio, hmm, death, did someone pass away or perhaps there's been a big fight over money and stress or you're very conflicted about an ending that happened. Perhaps you want to, to find a way to transform the conflict that you're in with the lovers. So this is energy of Gemini. So like the divine's trying to bring, to bring two people together here that it seems had an ending. So I think the, the woman may feel like he's a snake just waiting to get her at every turn waiting to do something behind her back or someone really could have been ghosted here or just stopped talking to them so they walked away from the emotional stress and turmoil walked straight to a queen of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius What is this death about, this Scorpio transformation? Perhaps wanting to transform your conflict? Queen of Cups. So there's an ending and a conflict that you're facing, or gonna face, with a Queen of Cups and the ending. And you loved that person and you walked away from that person. Then we have the Queen of Wands here. You walk straight towards a Queen of Wands. So perhaps you left one person for another or met this person shortly after. This Queen of Wands is very intuitive, knows how to create. She is like the uh, igniter, the initiator into the new, but there's still more conflict conflict about well I should probably take that card that flipped over well whatever conflict about um, addictions and you still feeling tied to your past perhaps my Pisces friends not, not not being able to let go in some sort of way now all of these cards here I'm putting down are falling right on top the Queen of Pentacles. So you had too much conflict with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, which so you moved forward and decided to be 
I think possibly more truthful than you've ever been with a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords. So either that or this Queen of the Divine working in the background here to keep you safe and they would have liked you to have been patient, more patient. So a truth being spoken here, a truth being spoken that was painful to take, very painful to take, a truth being spoken about wanting to stay single. I'm getting that this queen of swords in this uh, earth sign might be two, this one in the same Maybe all three of these queens are one in the same person. Uh, we have a nine of cups. So when this person said what they said and cleared away the bullshit, it was really kind of a wish granted. Seeing the humor in this situation. They, I think they made you an offer that was snubbed or... You made them an offer that was snubbed, so they ended it, cut out the crap, ended it, and it was a wish granted, so you didn't have to deal with it anymore. So you could go back to whatever it was you wanted to do. You wanted to start brand new. You wanted to start brand new and fresh. But even when you start brand new and fresh and you're leaving a situation, you can still feel the lack the lack of the communication, feeling hurt, feeling like it was an absolute dead ending. And perhaps you made them an offer. Maybe it was to just be friends or something and they wouldn't accept it. So that's how the new trajectory started or is going to start. I think that someone wants to bring some truth to an earth sign in some way, shape, or form, form Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They want to, but I think I think you guys are afraid that it will just end because of their cutting. Uh, the way they say things are just not taking any more BS. Which, in a way, for you is a wish granted because you hate the guessing game, but at the same time you know that it can hurt and leave you in this type of energy. Broken heart. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my Pisces friends, I'm so sorry you're going through that. Wanting to start the new, but yet feeling the loneliness and feeling in the cold, out in the cold from someone that you care about. Feeling even stabbed in the back or like you even created this ending in some way and it breaks your heart. Now, how do we get to the Ten of Cups? What's crossing you from getting to this Ten of Cups here? Because this is the Ten of Cups. Was it better than you actually thought it was? Or was it the? is it just the ending to this whole phase? Crossing you is the King of Wands. Crossing you are the things you're passionate about. So someone could have been... In order to have this Ten of Cups, you would need to be upright and honest and loyal to a fault. And maybe someone had some addictions or a truth that they felt if they told the person that they were with. Or they feel that if they tell you that you'd never see them again or be with them. They, they would never accept it in a million years. So... What crosses the King of Wands here is wanting that new start. How do I start again? How, how do I start again after all of this now? Do I just put one foot in front? Yeah, definitely. It had something to do with some sort of addictive tendencies, which is why this all ended. You would like that new start, absolutely, but I don't think you're sure at all how to create it. <laughs> Seven of Cups, confusion, yeah. Not at all sure how to create it, how to bring it about. Not seeing the positive in a situation. So, 
it's an incredibly sticky situation to be in. There can be healing, though. That's just it. And there can be a wish granted, but someone's going to have to step forward and speak. Someone's going to have to step forward and be the first one to bring communication. Either way. Let's see what the angels have to say about this. As you honor and follow the gui guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. A new romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So if the new is coming in, in the eventuality of things, I don't know if you're even going to see the benefit in the new. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. I think maybe that's something you would like to tell this person that's gone. That that uh, you've lost somebody perhaps if you've lost somebody recently I'm, I'm so sorry for you guys I hear you saying would they even answer my message if I messaged them when you take excellent care of yourself everybody benefits give yourself a relaxing treat today such as a massage or sea salt bath or pedicure And then we have caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Well, I wish you guys much luck and energy through this, or luck and love through this, en this energies of uh, Scorpio season and transformation. It looks like you may need it. If this is a workplace scenario, Someone may have left a job, there was too much conflict, may have left a job, someone chose to leave, whichever, got a new job, the new job didn't work out, and you just feel all absolutely bummed about how to even start new now. It's like you thought you had it figured out, but you didn't, apparently. Anyway, blessings to you, and I'll talk to you again soon.